Today, we're gonna talk about the fearless woman. Women Rock Show. I believe that God is doing something awesome in us and speaking to us. So we believe in women here at the Rock Church and World Outreach Center. And so I'm glad to bring to you what God is speaking to us as women. You know, he loves you. He cherishes you. You were in your mother's womb and he knew who you were already. And he has built you and created you in a certain way. And so we are tapping into what God says to us as women for us and by God. So we've been digging into Proverbs 31 and God has been speaking some deep things to us. So if you've missed some of those episodes, you can go back and get those. And so we today, we're going to pick up in Proverbs 31, 25. So grab your Bibles and get in it with me. And we're going to start in Proverbs 31, 25. And it says, she is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of her future. This is the scripture like every pastor wants to preach on because this is the one that makes you feel good about yourself. Like, I can be that woman. And I'm here to tell you, you are that woman. First of all, God knew our language. He said she is clothed. We love clothes, girls. We like to look good. We want to we wanna make sure that we have the right coverings on or we, we look a certain way. And so I think God knew how to speak our language, but God didn't want us just to put on something and take it off. But I believe that we wear Jesus Christ everywhere we go when we said yes to Jesus. And so if you've asked Jesus to be the Lord and Savior of your life, you are a daughter of the King. That's big. That means that you wear Jesus everywhere you go. And this verse says that she is clothed with strength and dignity and honor. There's, in different translations, honor and dignity are interchanged. And so we are going to dig into what God says about this. God says that you are the woman that carries strength and you carry honor and you carry dignity. You go, I don't know if I feel that way. Sometimes I feel tore up. I'm tired. I need a million cups of coffee to make it through the day. But listen, it's not about what you feel. It's about who you are in Jesus Christ. And so let's look at 1 John 4, 4. You will not be able to do this on your own, but you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And 1 John 4, 4 says, but you belong to God. So daughter, you belong to God. That's just right there. That's a good day. And my dear children, you have already won the victory over the those people because the spirit who lives in you is greater than the spirit who lives in the world. This is good news for the girl who is fearless. A fearless woman of God understands that he who lives in us is greater than he who lives in this world. That no matter what demonic spirit you come across during the day, no matter what evil thing is coming your way, that God is bigger and stronger and bolder and that he lives within you and that when you tap into who he is and all that you are in him, him, that you are ready to take on to conquer and to overcome what the enemy has put in front of you. You're not afraid to take a step forward, but you are ready to go. You're not going to be a woman who cowards, but you're going to be a woman who says, no, I'm not going to do this. You're not going to take this ground. This is my family. This is my territory. This is my business. This is my student, you know, um, school education. Th these are the things that God has given me and you, Satan, don't get to take territory from my my dwelling. You see, God's woman, she she is honored. That's awesome. You actually wear honor and dignity. Isn't that good? That means, what does honor mean? It means that it's glory. That means that you wear God's goodness. Glory is God's goodness. I don't know about you, but I want to wear the goodness of Jesus Christ in every step of my day. I don't always do this well. We all mess up. But when I can remind myself of who I am as a daughter of the King, that I carry the goodness of God with me, that's going to empower me to take the next step and to go a little further that day. You adorn magnificently who Christ is. You are beautiful and you make God splendor. That, what does that mean? That means that your life shows the splendor of God's majesty. That's who you are. In 1 Chronicles 16, 27, it says, Honor and majesty surround him. Strength and joy fill his dwelling. You carry the strength and the joy of Jesus Christ. That brings me to strength. The fearless woman is one who is strong. She carries strength. The definition of strength is a very powerful thing. It says it's a force. A force not to be reckoned with. You are a woman not to be reckoned with. When Satan tries it, you send him right back to hell where he came from. Remember who you are. She's a woman of security. That means she is securely fastened to Jesus Christ. She knows that she 
cannot do life without him, that he is the anchor of her soul. This is a woman who carries strength. Not just that, she carries majesty inside of her. She knows who she belongs to. She knows who she is connected to, that she is a part of the royalty of heaven. This woman who is strong, she's a praiser because she praises. And in her praise, she gathers strength to continue and to move forward into her future. A woman of strength is a woman who is bold. A woman who's ready to say, not today. No, you don't get to put the wool over my eyes. No, you don't get to pick on the weak. No, you don't get to take over what is not yours. She's a woman who says no in the face of adversity. She's also a woman who is mighty and powerful in Jesus Christ because Jesus is powerful. Jesus is mighty. He is strong. He is a fortress in time of need. And she is a woman who understands that this is all that she carries. So you guys know the story of Moses. Moses is one of my heroes in the Bible. And so he was called to deliver the people from Pharaoh out of Egypt and bring them into the promised land. This is like amazing. What a task that he carried, right? And so as he is running from Egypt, the Egyptians are chasing them and he strikes the water and it parts. God uses him to do a miracle and they walk on dry ground. And as the people are coming behind them in the chariots, the Lord crashes the water down on them and they all get wiped out and the children of Israel are the Hebrews are just taken care of and they are covered. And here's this incredible miracle. I can't imagine that moment right after it all happened. But Moses, he did something spectacular. And I believe we as women, we can do the spectacular in our victory moments just like Moses. He sang a song of praise. And so I want to I just want to read a little bit of what he said because he understood that it wasn't in his own strength that he did this. He understood it wasn't his own ability. He understood that he was a part of something that kingdom was developed here on earth and that he got to be a part of a miracle and he was placed right at the right time for the right thing and he was fearless in his attempt because he knew he had Jesus Christ on his side and so here we go Exodus 15 2 and it says the Lord is my strength maybe you just need to say that to yourself right now the Lord is my strength I don't know what you're facing in life I don't know if it's your marriage. I don't know if it's a sickness that has been spoken over you, a child that is running wayward. Listen, the Lord is your strength today, girlfriend, and a song. And he has become my salvation. Remember, God is your salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. Today, I don't know what you're facing, but you are the fearless woman. Remember who your creator is. Remember that greater is he in you than that he that is in the world. This is the kind of strength that is backing you. The same God that backed Moses, the same God that part of the Red Sea, the same God that used him in that moment is the same God working on your behalf. Do not give up today, girlfriend. You stand strong. You hold tight because God's got you. He's running with you. He's holding your hand through this, and you are going to see the other side of this. Ephesians 6.10 says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Hold on, you beautiful thing, because God's got you, and you are a woman of the Most High God. And so I have so much more on this. We're actually going to do a part two on these scriptures. But before we close out just this encouragement today, I want to bless you. I want to pray over you. I want to pray a blessing and a prayer of strength over you. And so go ahead and bow your head and close your eyes and just receive this prayer. Lord, we just pray over every woman listening to this. Lord, I ask for a supernatural strength and honor to come upon her life. Lord, I pray for a favor to pour out upon her. I pray, God, that the victories that she has not seen, that she would begin to see. I pray, God, that you would turn around those things that she does not understand for the good. And, Lord, that your will would be in it and that your favor would be upon it. Lord, we thank you, God, that you would gird her, God, that you would equip her, God, that you would fill her Holy Spirit. Lord, that you would fill her with your mercy and your grace. And, God, that you would lead her, Lord, to a path of peace and restoration, God. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that she's going to see answered prayers in Jesus' mighty name. I believe that God wants you to pray some dangerous prayers this week. So I want you to get into your prayer room. I want you to be a fearless woman and pray those crazy prayers, those prayers of salvation, those prayers of restoration, those prayers of forgiveness. There's been people you have been holding off forgiving. Let it go. 
Just give it to God and let it go so that he can move in your life. I'm so excited to see what God is doing through the women here at our church and in the women in the world. Let's take this world by force. Let's let the world know how good Jesus is. And maybe you were listening today and going, oh my goodness, I want to know Jesus. I don't even know him personally. Well, guess what? He wants to be your friend. He wants to be your savior. He wants to be your husband. He wants to have a personal relationship with you. And if you have never asked Jesus to come into your heart and be the Lord and Savior of your life, today's your day. If you've been running from God instead of to God and you've been living this lukewarm, kind of half in, half out life, you need to get right today. Today's your day. You are not promised tomorrow. You say, how do I do that? How do I get right with God? How do I ask him to come and be my Lord and Savior? It's very simple. You simply ask him to come into your heart and be the Lord and Savior of your life. You pray a prayer. I'm going to pray the prayer and you repeat it after me. So close your eyes and bow your head and repeat these words. Dear Father God, I come before you today, a sinner in need of a savior. Please forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me today and wash me in your perfect love. Thank you, Jesus, for coming into my heart and being the Lord and savior of my life. Holy Spirit, I invite you to come and to live and to dwell. Teach me how to do life your way. Show me how to live according to the word of God. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for dying on that cross. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. How exciting, girlfriend. I'm so excited for you. This is a new beginning, and we have so many good things ahead of you. Why don't you join us at www.rockchurch.com and click the Get to Know God button, and we will send you some information about what just happened, that prayer you prayed, how, what do you do next? Now that I'm a Christian, what do I do? But the first thing you need to do is get a Bible. So if you need one, go ahead and let us know. But also, you need to get into a good Bible-believing, God-fearing church. So if you are here in the San Bernardino area, in the Inland Empire area, we would love to be your church. So come check us out on Sundays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. We always have a church service going on. Or you can look up a local church in your area and you need to get connected to other believers that will build you up in the faith and love you through this time. I love you girls. We'll see you next time. I'm excited to be with you.